Okay, now you want to scrape off the slag. And all the hard stuff up on top. crucible back in so that it can cool with the, the forge. And as you can see, I got it turned down pretty low right now. But it won't take much to get her going again. Alright, well I still got a little bit of oil left over. So I'm going to go ahead and drain my tank. So right here. Turn my tank drain on. And then I'm going to open up the stove. And then I'm going to shut her all down. And then my excess oil, I'm going to dump back into my jug to use later. As you can see, my reservoir is empty now. And I put the lid back on just to help the heat burn out the excess oil in the bottom of it. And I got my crucible in there so that it don't cool too quickly. All right, let's have a look at my ingots now. And that was just a real little batch, guys. You see, now we got three ingots. And with this pan, every time I weigh them, they're real close to one pound. I'll weigh them later so y'all guys can see, but I'm going to have to let them cool for a good 30 minutes to an hour.
And see that? That's a nice little ingot there. So right there, if they're each close to a pound, that's one, two, three pounds that it didn't cost me anything to do or anything to melt other than a little bit of time picking up this oil and building this forge from junk. And uh, for you knife makers, if you wanted to, you could use the heat that comes out of this hole right here to get your metal red hot and then hammer it out. I'm not really into metalworking, but I may do a little bit for a video or two. But all right, guys, thanks for watching. This was my oil fit, my oil forge made from just scrap parts laying around. Remember, the only thing I had any money in was just these valves. And uh, I actually had the coffer in between the valves. I made sure and buy the valve for the copper I had. But now while this burns out and cools down, I will leave my blower on. That way it's constantly blowing cold air into the pipe and there's no way the heat can backdraft to my motor and burn it up. I do not want heat coming out. And see, I can hold this all the way down. Oh, and before I end the video, I wanted to show you that I use this old pressure cooker as a lid. It fits over damn well around this oil reservoir, and that keeps any water out. Okay, these have cooled down a little bit, but they're still a little bit warm to the touch. I wanted to weigh them. Okay, that's on zero. Okay, that one's right under a pound. That's the pound, and that'd be... I mean, it's right under. And see, that one's just right under also. This one's a little bit thinner. You can see that one's pretty close to a pound also. These are still some pretty nice ingots. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. I still got to put my other oil burners on. I just thought today was a good day to work on this one, and I wanted to show you what it was like. But yeah, thanks for watching.